and welcome to our virtual celebration for our two newest 21st century school buildings. They will house more than 1,200 students across three of our schools. Walter P. Carter Elementary Middle, Lois T. Murray Elementary Middle, and Medfield Heights Elementary School. While we would naturally prefer to celebrate this event in person, we felt it was much more important to celebrate safely in this virtual format. But I think it's still important to recognize and thank the 21st Century team and the entire operations team for completing this huge project on time, despite the challenges of doing so in the midst of the COVID pandemic. As always, I want to thank our partners at the Maryland Stadium Authority, as well as the Interagency Commission on School Construction, both for their important contributions to the success of the 21st Century Schools Program. I also want to thank our elected officials in Baltimore City and statewide for their advocacy and support for our schools and students and their commitment to equity by providing 21st century school buildings that our young people deserve. And speaking of state officials, it is now my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Boyd K. Rutherford, Lieutenant Governor of the State of Maryland. Good afternoon. I'm Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford, and it is my pleasure to join you today to celebrate the 21st century school buildings virtual ribbon cutting for Walter P. Carter Elementary Middle School, Lois T. Murray Elementary Middle School, and Medfield Heights Elementary School. On behalf of Governor Hogan and our entire administration, I would like to extend our most sincere congratulations and gratitude for the program's commitment to build future focused, adaptable, sustainable, and high quality schools in communities throughout Baltimore. As partners in the 21st Century School Building Program, the Maryland Stadium Authority finances, procures, and builds these high-quality schools and communities throughout the city of Baltimore. The Maryland Interagency Commission on School Construction approves the educational program, feasibility studies, school closure plans, and maintenance plans for each school project. The Maryland Stadium Authority is currently scheduled to deliver 28 school buildings that will be home to 32 schools, maximizing the original program projected to, de to deliver 23 to 28 school buildings. Now, due to efficient project management and bond issuance transactions, the MSA is forecasting that this program will generate additional $60 million available for school construction. Together with its program partners, Baltimore City, City Schools, and the IAC, the Maryland Stadium Authority has now delivered 17 modernized school buildings on time and under budget. It should also be noted that many of these school buildings have already received environmental engineering and design awards. Currently, another seven school buildings are under construction, three are in design, and one more is finalizing the feasibility study phase. This program is scheduled to be substantially complete this year. And not only does this program contribute to the city of Baltimore and the state of Maryland through the education of Baltimore's children, it also promotes local employment with 948 positions filled by city residents, introduces a school internship initiative, and realizes a 33.1% MBE goal with over $352 million in contracts awarded to minority and women-owned businesses. I want to thank the state and the city partners in this program, all of whom have shown a real commitment to the success of the program. Together, they are good stewards of Maryland taxpayer dollars and champions for education, economic development, and neighborhood revitalization in Baltimore City. I would also like to recognize MSA Chair Thomas Kelso, as well as the entire Board of Directors, and Executive Director Michael Friends, who are represented virtually today for their leadership. I would also like to recognize Gary McGugan and Eric Johnson, who oversee the historic building program for MSA and the highly professional staff they oversee, like project manager Joseph Mazak and Brent Miller. 
Additionally, I want to thank the IAC Chair, Dr. Karen Sammons, Executive Director Bob Gorell, and Regional Facilities Managers, Jamie Bridges, and their, for their contributions to the program. And finally, thank you to the many architects, engineers, and construction partners involved in these projects that are modern, efficient, and environmentally high performing. Your virtual participation in today's event affords you the opportunity to tour these 21st century school buildings that will serve these communities for many years to come with light-filled, collaborative, fully accessible learning areas and gathering spaces, all equipped with enhanced technologies and environmental efficiencies throughout. Adjacent outdoor areas can be enjoyed for organized sports, passive leisure, and additional educational opportunities. As partners in the 21st Century School Program, the Maryland Stadium Authority and the Interagency Commission for School Construction are proud to serve the citizens of Maryland. In this case, it's particularly gratifying to serve the school children of Baltimore and who are the future of Baltimore and Maryland. At this time, it is my pleasure to present governor's citations to each of the schools. First, Medfield Heights Elementary School. Greetings, be it known that on behalf of the citizens of this state, in recognition of the outstanding commitment of students, faculty, and staff of Medfield Heights Elementary School to quality education and academic excellence, with sincere congratulations on the occasion of the ribbon cutting ceremony to honor your new replacement school project. And as an expression of our admiration, great respect and warmest best wishes for success in the days and years to come. We're pleased to confer upon you this governor's citation signed this day by the governor, myself as Lieutenant Governor and John C. Wilbur Smith, Secretary of State. The second is for Walter P. Carter Elementary School, and it reads the same, also signed by the governor, Lawrence J. Hogan, Jr., governor, myself as Lieutenant Governor, John C. Wilbur Smith, Secretary of State. And last, but definitely not least, Lois T. Murray Elementary School, which reads as the same as the others, and signed this day, Lawrence J. Hogan, uh, junior Governor, myself as Lieutenant Governor, John C. Wilbur Smith, Secretary of State. Congratulations, and we will make sure we get these, these citations to you in the very near future. Thank you, and stay safe. I want to thank the Lieutenant Governor and Governor Hogan for their support of education. It is now my pleasure to welcome Mayor Brandon M. Scott and City Council President Nick Mosby with our thanks for taking time to participate in this joyous occasion. Hey everybody, this is Mayor Brandon Scott. Uh, we know the students in Baltimore are our most valuable asset. They hold the key to our future and deserve every tool they need to be successful and the best that they can be. This includes 21st century facilities where they can learn and thrive. I want to say congratulations on the opening of three 21st Century Baltimore City Public Schools, Lois T. Mary Elementary Middle School, Metfield Heights Elementary School, and Walter P. Carter Elementary Middle School. Thanks to the 21st Century Schools Building Program, many of our schools will have much needed renovations to build educational environments worthy of the promise of our students. These updates include media labs, collaborative learning areas, and technology labs, and not to mention water that they can drink. We know that our public schools are critical in educating and supporting our young people. These schools serve as a roadmap to guarantee a better and brighter future for Baltimore. I know that the students, faculty, and staff are excited to work, enjoy, and learn in these schools when it is safe to do so, and I cannot wait to visit them in person. On behalf of the city of Baltimore, I am proud to present three citations for the reopening of the Lois T. Mary, Medford Heights, and Walter P. Carter. Congratulations and see you all in the classroom very soon. I'm Council President Nick Mosby and today we're excited because we're celebrating the culmination of 10 plus years of hard work for the 21st Century School Initiative. Behind me is Medfield Heights Elementary School where they have brand new tech labs, art rooms, a huge gymnasium, places for kids to learn, grow, thrive for success. 
And that's exactly what the 21st Century Initiative is. Today, we're also excited to launch the brand new opening of the Lewis T. Murphy Walter P. Carter Pre-K through eighth grade school. I mean, this is an amazing place. It has an outdoor amphitheater, it has natural lighting, and it's full ADA accessible. Our 21st century schools are huge opportunities to not only allow our children to learn, grow, and achieve, but also revitalize our communities. And our council is here to help support that and continue this initiative of pouring back into our young folks. So Baltimore, let's continue to achieve, let's continue to grow, let's continue to pour into our young folks. That's exactly what our 21st century plan does. Thanks Baltimore, let's push forward. I also want to express my sincere thanks to every member of the Baltimore City Legislative Delegation and the entire Baltimore City Council. And now I am very pleased to introduce the chair of the Baltimore City Board of School Commissioners, Commissioner Linda Chinya. On behalf of the Baltimore City Board of School Commissioners, I am very happy to participate in this virtual celebration of our newest 21st century school buildings. I take great joy in knowing that more than 1,200 students across these three schools will now benefit from a 21st century learning environment as City Schools continues to make progress in fulfilling our obligation to provide our students and families with the supports they need to be successful. It's part of the district and the board's commitment to equity, and I am grateful to everyone at the city and state level for their participation and partnership in this critical endeavor. I would also like to add my gratitude to every member of the 21st Century Team and City Schools Operations Office for their dedication, professionalism, and determination in completing this complex task on schedule despite the challenges posted by the COVID pandemic. Thank you to everyone who worked to make this achievement possible. Thank you, Chair Chinya. And thanks to the entire Board of School Commissioners for everything you do for City School students. And now, let's hear from our most important speakers of the day, the students who will benefit from these beautiful new school buildings. Hello, I am Ewell III, a student here at the new Walter B. Carter Elementary Middle School. There are many reasons we are in need of this 21st century school. The advanced technology will help reach students from anywhere, homes and classrooms. The new technology will assist teachers with their lesson plans so the students will want to listen and be excited about what we are learning. This will allow teachers to have one-on-one -on -one time with students who may need extra help. It also gives students the opportunity to have hands on the latest technology and equipment and use it when needed. The students can be independent and get information on their own. Students can reach other students in different countries and learn new information at all times. The new technology will allow students to compete against students from around the world in competitions and programs like NIFTY. NIFTY is a competition where students participate in while using coding to create a self-made app and the winner gets a cash prize. We need schools like this so we can become further leaders of Baltimore or the world. A 21st century school gives each student an opportunity to choose their path. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jim Lambert. I am in the sixth grade. I love school. I am excited for a new school building. I will have a new big classroom to do my work and play with my friends. Thank you for a new school. I've been a student at Medfield Heights Elementary since pre-kindergarten. Medfield is all about students caring for other students. A new building means an opportunity to meet new people and make new friends. Getting a new building also means not having to go outside in the winter to get to your class because there will be space for everyone. The last important thing about getting a new building is not having to worry about the bathroom, water working, or being too hot or cold in our classrooms. This means we can focus more on our work and do well. And I definitely can't wait to shoot a three-pointer in our new gym. Thank you. Thank you to our students 
for reminding us why these great new buildings are so important and for making sure that we realize our commitment to young people is seen in our commitment to making sure they have the learning spaces they deserve. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. Let's welcome back our students and their principals to cut the ribbons. Three, two, one. And now, please join us for a peek at our newest school buildings and hear from our principals. Now let's take a look at the new Walter P. Carter Elementary Middle School. Let me begin by wishing you all a happy new year filled with many successes and continued progress during the 2020-2021 school year. Next, I would like to say thank you and show much gratitude to our student athlete, Edward Lee, for his warm words and his speech. At Walter P. Carter, we are very proud of our caring, inclusive attitude and environment where we set high standards and expectations for our scholars to achieve academically by putting their social emotional needs at the forefront of our work. At WPC, we truly teach to the hearts of our scholars before attempting to capture their minds. From the moment a new staff and or student joins our school community, we want them to feel a sense of love and belonging, as this is essential to their future success. Moreover, providing students with a well-rounded education, coupled with this new superb facility, along with our dedicated staff, we will deliver our programs in an environment that is truly geared and attuned to 21st century learners and their very specific educational needs. I would like to mention the collaborative space, which will allow us to create an atmosphere where students can feel relaxed and comfortable in smaller environments while working independent of the teacher, which allows learners to really become independent leaders of their own learning, truly student-centered learning. As we transition into the stunning space as the lead learner of WPC, I will ensure that we continue to keep our school's mission at the forefront of our work by authentically implementing highly effective instruction, SEL practices, and provide community and family engagement opportunities in a collaborative environment. Therefore, 
WPC will continue to strive to become a school focused on educational equity, finding unique and innovative ways to partner, support, and create opportunities that will make our school community a place where all students can learn, enjoy learning, develop strong relationships, continue to grow each day socially, emotionally, and academically, academically with an appreciation for this wonderful space. In closing, to echo the words of the late and great Walter P. Carter in 1971, the world is not so complex that highly intelligent, articulate, dedicated men cannot address its problems. Therefore, I would like to commend and thank Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland Stadium Authority for seeing a problem with the inadequate buildings, learning spaces for our staff and students of Baltimore City, and working to ensure that regardless of any circumstances, that our staff and scholars are afforded buildings and learning spaces that speak to the character of scholars that we deem to develop into true leaders, innovators, and collaborators prepared to explore the world of endless possibilities. Thank you. Now let's take a look at our neighbors at Lewis T. Mary Elementary Middle School. Good afternoon. As I stand here on this momentous occasion, I can't help but to reflect over the process that got us here. I became principal of Lois T. Murray Elementary School during the summer of 2018. I had one month to prepare for the new school year. I walked into the school building and thought to myself, I have a few weeks to work a miracle. I knew for all students, especially mine with special needs, how much a welcoming environment impacted student performance. I quickly purchased paint and found volunteers to repair walls and paint classrooms and hallways. However, with even the, a new coat of paint, it was still glaringly obvious that the Lois T. Murray School Building lacked what needed to optimize learning. The classrooms were small and of varying sizes, the walls did not reach the ceilings, and the temperature was never right, either too hot or too cold. In addition, we were always short on room, constantly trying to recreate and divide spaces to offer our students more learning experiences, like high and low impact sensory rooms, a student wholeness space, therapy rooms, and it goes on. Even though I took over Lois T. Murray in the middle of the 21st century school process, I was eager to dive in to ensure our students receive the learning environment they deserved. We are so excited to now have multiple sensory rooms, dedicated spaces for resource classes, spaces to hold meetings and small school-wide events, larger hallways for indoor gross motor activities like bike riding, and most of all, a life skills classroom to prepare our students for the future. I must be honest, we are slightly overwhelmed by the size, but believe me, we will find use for every inch of the new space. 
We are forever grateful for our new school building and look forward to many opportunities and learning experiences it will create for our students. And so we are so excited to slowly transition our students over to our new building in June. Thank you. Take a look at the new Medfield Heights Elementary School. Hi, my name is Amber Kilcoin. I'm the principal here at Medfield Heights Elementary School. I'm proud to say that I've been the principal at this school for seven years since the very first community meeting about having a new school. We were sitting in a hot cafeteria. It was hard to hear each other so we could share our hopes and dreams. Seven years later, here we are, blessed with this beautiful new building. This community has spent hours giving thoughtful feedback and input towards what makes this building, what would make this building just right for our students. I'd like to thank our school community, our neighbors, our parents who helped us move not once but twice, and our students who persevered during our move to the swing space and even now as they continue with remote learning. I promise that when it's safe, we will have the most spectacular opening event for everyone to join. For my staff, I hope that they enjoy the building and amazing technology. And for my students, I hope that you love this building that you've been waiting for for so long because you deserve it. Thank you for joining us to celebrate this great achievement on behalf of our students, our families, and the entire City Schools community. Have a great day and let's continue to move forward in 2021.